Well, 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 would you look at that, seems like Apple TV Plus haters just got humiliated once again. Severance is the latest mind-blowing hit on TV which is arguably the most unique and amazing thing to come out on the small screen in decade. The visuals, the acting, the story, the sheer atmosphere of the world building is beyond incredible. Naturally, a massive fan base of the TV show has emerged and with the ending that season 1 gave us, everyone craves season 2 more than a cold pint of Guinness in a scorching desert. <laughs> I'm just kidding, nobody likes Guinness. But what do we know about season 2? When is it coming? What is it going to be about? Who will return to the next chapter of the series? I have some answers to some of these questions, so why don't we just dive in straight away and please enjoy all facts about season 2 equally. Let's get this party started. First things first, season 2 is coming, right? Uh, yes indeed, season 2 was confirmed virtually at the same time as season 1 ended its run on TV, and to no surprise of course, since the show's ratings have been through the roof. So this is the most important good thing that we need to hear, but right now, we have more questions than that. For example, when is the show coming? Well, it, this is where things get a little bit more complicated. You see, we don't actually know that much that has been officially confirmed about season 2. In fact, there are just two more things that we officially know about the next series. Number one, the next season will be one episode longer, meaning it will feature 10 episodes in total. Now here is hoping that all of them will be equally great. Number two, all original four main actors will return to reprise their respective roles. And that's Adam Scott who plays Mark, John Torturo who plays Irv, Zach Cherry who plays Dylan, and Britt Lower who plays Helly. Which, let's be honest, is another fantastic and very important piece of news. Although of course they would return, how could they not? After the terrific performances they gave and that insane cliffhanger in the finale, Sheesh! Now, don't worry that we don't have any other official information about Season 2, as we have plenty of hints and tips from showrunners themselves about the future of the series overall. Some of which will definitely be reflected already in Season 2. Most of these come from a few months back when Dan Erickson, the main creator of the show, didn't ask me anything on Reddit's dedicated page to the TV show where he spilled some very interesting and magical beans. So why don't we cover some of the most interesting ones? Well, for example, one user asked if there are any characters who are severed on the outside, where the innie would be the original self and the outie would be the one who got severed, to which Ericsson had a pretty fine response. I started to type a response to this, but Ben Stiller's spirit flew out of his body and into my house and slapped my laptop shut. So, no comment on this. Well, Danny, this definitely does look like a comment to me. Gotcha, bitch! Another user asked, Outie Helly knew Inner Helly attempted suicide. I get why Cobble held it from the board, but why would Helly not have told them? Or at least insisted on a closer watch of her Innie? To which Ericsson responded, good question. I think more of that will reveal itself in Season 2. Now, I want to talk about this for a little bit. This is something very interesting. Could Outie Helly be not so villainous after all? Maybe she hates her father and the company in a way? I think it would be rather interesting to see both Innie and Outie Helly working alongside together. Maybe Outie Helly was never allowed to see what's happening inside and getting severed was her way to find out. Maybe that's why she never wanted to let her inner Helly get out. I mean, lots of food for thought here, but uh, let's just keep going while we're still hungry. Now, this is also a rather interesting comment. The question was how long is the show planned to be, to which Ericsson said, well, I think it could work in three seasons or six. There's a plan for the overall narrative, but it's flexible enough that it could go both ways. So that's kind of awesome. This means that we will get at least three seasons worth of Severance story, and maybe if we're lucky, it could go all the way up to six. Of course, we prefer quality over quantity, and yet the idea of five more seasons of what we got in the first one does excite me a lot. Ah, oh, this possibility is coveted as fuck. Moving on, will we find out exactly what MDR does in Season 2? To which Ericsson replied, well, there will be more answers. That's all I can say, or they'll put me in the break room. You know, the purpose of MDR is arguably the biggest mystery of the show, as the characters themselves have no idea what the purpose of their work is. Are they really cleaning the oceans? Are they creating clones? Are they carrying out assassinations of random individuals? Who knows? We can only wait to find out, although maybe I will make an insanely in-depth analysis of what MDR could actually be. Let's see. For now, let's keep going. Just uh, a couple things here. Another good question. How much further are we going to get into the social implications of this technology versus the personal impacts? For example, will we see state militaries going severed? What about its use in parole and work release programs? Could a prisoner take a severed job and still serve their time? To which Ericsson replied, One of the nice things about opening up the world a bit is that we'll get to see other applications of the technology. 
other way society willingly segments itself from unpleasant truths. That was the main reason to do it as a TV show instead of a movie. You know, that's another interesting comment by the show creator. Clearly the first season of Severance was testing the waters, limiting its narrative to the actual Lumen's office and just a little bit of some private lives of our main heroes. Could we see a much bolder world building in the next few seasons? It looks like to me. It would be interesting to see indeed how people sever themselves in other scenarios, especially the military one as mentioned in the question. I mean, imagine being perpetually condemned to fight wars without an end. But then again, as a nowity, there is a chance you might not actually become conscious again, so that doesn't sound that much better. Now, one of the most interesting and mysterious characters of season one is Milchik. Despite being one of the most prominent characters on screen, we know practically nothing about the dude. First off, he always wears exactly the same office clothes, often and even always looking actually rather like he time traveled from the 70s. But then again, the whole show is flexing the time and space continuums how they please. But also, is he severed? Because it sure doesn't look like it. Also, how the hell is he able to enter Dylan's out his house whenever he wants? Like in the middle of the night? And why is he still wearing office clothes in this house? Does he work 24-7? Is he an android? Well, it seems we are about to find out a lot more about the character. In fact, when asked if season 2 will explore Milchik's background and just what new information we might learn, the creator of the show had this to say. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts because you are not ready for this information. Ready? Well, here we go. Yep! Basically, the only thing that Erickson confirmed is that we will learn more about Milchik, which is generally very exciting news. I cannot wait to find out what his background could possibly be. Maybe I should do an in-depth analysis on some of the best theories about Severance. Also, apart from specific questions, there are some general comments made by the creator, which I found to be very key for our understanding of what Season 2 might bring. First, everything we saw in the series was actually real, except the goo that Irv saw. And second, no one guessed what revolving is, which is something that Egan mentioned to Heli in the toilet scene. I am personally relieved about the fact that everything is real, because at times the series seemed just purely absurd. Now that we know everything is happening in actuality, there is more excitement about what the proper explanation for this fever dream of a TV show will be. Okay, I'm definitely gonna make a video on theories. And we definitely can be sure that season 2 will validate or debunk most of those theories that are currently flowing online. Well, that's about it what we know officially or unofficially even about Severance season 2. There are of course some still burning questions out there such as when will season 2 hit Apple TV+, Plus? what will be the main story, will there be additional characters, will we see some characters go, just how many kids does Dylan have, and who or what fucking Milchik is? Alright, alright, uh, I better calm down for a bit. I'm sure in due time we will find out more answers to all of these questions. But for now, we're just gonna have to stay put and just watch out for any new updates that come out online. Guys, thanks so much for watching the video, I really appreciate it. Thanks again. And I'll see you in the next one.